What's up guys, you're watching Key Bon Bon, and today we'll be typing on 11 MX style clicky switches in search of the clickiest switch. The 11 switches that we'll be comparing today are the Cherry Blue, Cherry Green, Kel Blue, Kel Pro Light Green, Kel Box Jade, Kel Box Navy, Gator on Blue, Gator on Green, Otemu Blue, Greetech Blue, and NK Sherbet. We'll be doing this comparison on the GK61 hot swappable keyboard which is a nice keyboard on its own, but it's also great for trying out different types of switches and for breaking in your switches. I wouldn't recommend doing this type of comparison on a high-end keyboard because your hot swap sockets do have a limited lifetime. All right, let's get typing. After going through the recordings a few times, here are my thoughts. First off, the Cherry Blues, Cherry Greens, Gatoron Blues, Gatoron Greens, and Greetech Blues were all kind of awful. They felt mushy, and the sound didn't really compare to the ones of the other clicky switches. I was a little underwhelmed by the difference in sound between the Cherry and Gatoron Greens when compared to their blue counterparts. I was expecting something a lot clickier, but from the test, I didn't really notice a big difference in sound. So I would only go with the Greens over the Blues if you prefer the heavier spring feel of the Greens. With that said, I did notice a difference in sound between the box navies and the box jades, with the box navies having a deeper, slightly louder sound. Next up, the Kel Blue, Kel Speed Green, and Otemu Blues all felt and sounded really nice. Considering they're about half the price of cherry switches, I'd rank them over cherries, but I still wouldn't place them in the top 3 clicky switches. That leads us to the top 3 clickiest switches. The box jades, box navies, and NK Sherbets. Now before I tell you which one I thought was the clickiest, let's listen to them one more time. I don't know about you guys, but the clickiest switch to me was the NK Sherbets, which really took me by surprise because almost no one is talking about the switch. And come on Novel Keys, look at your product page. There's no useful information other than the switch statistics. And I honestly bought this switch expecting it to be a flop. I was almost positive the Kale Box Navy was going to be the winner. Let's take a look at what makes the switch so clicky. Here we can see a close up of the switch. It's manufactured by Kale and it features a clear top, an opaque bottom, and an orange stem. We'll use our handy 2-in-1 switch opener from KBD Fans to take a look inside. Here you're looking at the click bar, which is what produces the clicky sound. Incidentally, the box navies and box jades, the two runner-ups, also use a click bar to produce their clicky sound. Here's an example of activating the click bar using tweezers. Compare this to the click jacket, which is how the other switches on the list produce their clicky sound. It's a little harder to see, but pay close attention to the prongs that snap and produce a clicky sound 
when the stem is pressed. So there you have it. I hereby declare the NK Sherbet's the clickiest MX style switch. If you disagree with me or have any other thoughts, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be doing the same video with the most popular linear and tactile switches in the next few weeks. So if that's something you'd be interested in watching, hit that subscribe button. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.